guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video i was inspired by abby bliss white a few weeks ago she did the weekend makeup look which is just you know an easy fresh tutorial for the weekend just something you go to when you want to wear some makeup but not too much so i thought that would be such a delightful idea for my channel today and also because i'm posting this on friday i thought it would be really good timing but before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. I really like this idea of like the weekend makeup look because I often don't wear makeup on the weekends because I usually save it for days that I'm working here on YouTube. But every now and then I do feel like wearing a little bit of makeup, maybe to go to brunch, maybe have some errands to run, or sometimes I just feel like wearing something on my face so I feel more put together. So these items are going to focus on like healthy looking skin, natural, and just enhancing our natural beauty. So. I filled in my eyebrows off camera like I always do, but I totally recommend filling in your eyebrows because it's not a big step, but it makes a really big difference. It just frames your face, especially if you're someone who has lighter eyebrows or very sparse eyebrows, filling them in makes a whole difference. So normally I start with my eyes first, but since I'm going to do a very light makeup look today i'm gonna to go ahead and start off with my complexion first i'm gonna go into my shantakai future skin foundation and i'm gonna apply a little bit of this this is a very sheer lightweight foundation and it almost acts as a really beautiful primer as well so i'm just going to dab a little bit of this i will probably add a little bit more and i'm just going to blend it out with this sponge I'm also interested in trying the Future Skin, I think it's called like the Tinted Moisturizer. I want to try that, but I also want to try the new Sisley Fido, is it a Tinted Moisturizer as well or a very light foundation? There are just so many products that I want to try out. Okay, let's just add a little bit more just to cover. I have been doing progress on the Chanel Water Fresh Tint. I'm trying to get rid of that to use it up. So once I finish that one, I will feel much better about buying new tinted moisturizers. But I at least want to finish that one completely before I start buying new ones because, you know, they do expire. And then for the concealer, I'm going to go into my Quai de Pool concealer in the shade called Almond. I think for me, the idea of a weekend makeup look is, again, very fresh and natural. And it's about just not hiding everything. You know, if there's breakouts, if there's an even skin tone, just let it be and just live with like a natural makeup look. As you guys know, whenever I put on a bit of concealer, I like to just let it sit there for a minute. So I have been watching Netflix like we all have. And I started watching this documentary on Netflix. It's a crime documentary. So I love murder mystery and crime podcasts. I love crime, like true crime um, YouTube channels. And there's this documentary on Netflix called, about um, the football player Aaron Hernandez. It is wild. I don't know how much I can talk about it on the channel because I know that YouTube flags and demonetizes videos that talk about true crime too much, but it's wild. It's a roller coaster. Like, I remember hearing about the case a little bit as it was happening, but I didn't really, like, keep up with the news. So, watching the documentary, they go through his career, his crime career, and just it's insane. It's crazy because. All of these things that he did as a criminal, he did them simultaneously as he was playing for the NFL and playing for this, like competing in the Super Bowl at the same time. Like it's just such a disconnect between a person who had like literally everything and then this criminal and it's just, it's wild. It's a wild ride. If you like true crime, that sort of thing, the Aaron Hernandez documentary is something else. I haven't finished it. I only watched the first two episodes, so I can't say, you know, what's going to happen next, but so far it's really good. And I'm just going to take the sponge here with the excess concealer and just pass it over the lid just to add a bit more of brightness around here. I'm just going to go into my Chanel Le Beige Healthy Glow Powder and just set my face a bit. 
I don't have much in the way of foundation, but I want to make sure that what I do have stays place. So for the blush, I'm going to go into my Westman Atelier blush stick. This is in the shade called Mignette. It's just a really beautiful peachy color. And I find that a liquid blush or a blush stick always has a nice healthy finish to it. And that is today's theme. So with a blush stick, I like to take my brush here and just sweep it into the product like this and then apply it like this. You can go ahead and just swipe it, but I find sometimes you end up moving a bit of the foundation and I find this is just a better application this way. Okay, so for the eyes, I'm gonna keep it really light and fresh. I'm gonna go into my Chanel Ombre Premier Lac. These are these beautiful liquid eyeshadows and I have the shade here called Rising Sun. It's again, that beautiful peachy golden shimmer color. It's beautiful on its own. And for a look like this, you can just use one of these shadows and it creates a whole look. So what I like to do is do one eye at a time. These dry very quickly, so you have to do one eye at a time. So you go like this. Sorry, I'm just adjusting my mirror here. So I do have hooded eyes, so I like to just blink like this and see where the product will go, and then I blend it out. And you can really use any brush you want. It doesn't really matter. You can use your finger, you could use a Q-tip. You just want to make sure it's not like a harsh line. So once we have it nice and blended, I'm going to go in with a second time and I'm really going to concentrate it on the mobile lid here and I'm going to try not to close my eyes this time because I want it to be more concentrated here. And by close my eyes, I mean open my eyes. That's the word that I was looking for. Because I have hooded eyes, or slightly hooded, if I were to open my eyes right now, the liquid shadow would just like stamp on the lid. And I already did that the first time just to blend it out. But now I kind of want to keep it more concentrated. So we're just going to stay here for a second while it dries. So for the liner, I'm going to go into this Chanel Stylosu Brun Agape. It's a really nice soft brown. And I'm just going to place a little bit of this on the top line here. This will make the lash line look like it's thicker and it also makes your eyes look more awake. I want to put on some mascara, but before I do, I want to use a bit of setting spray. I got this little sample here from Smashbox. It's the Photo Finish Primer Water. I got it from Sephora. Um, but I find that if you use a setting spray, apply it before you put on your mascara because otherwise you might end up with like little dots everywhere. So let's go ahead and spray. Okay, and now for some mascara, I'm using the Volume de Chanel mascara. Okay, so for the lips, I'm going to go into my lip liner here from Chanel. It's one of the new ones. This is the number 172 Bois de Rose. It's become my new obsession because it's just that perfect nudie pink and it goes with so many different lip colors so i'm going to go ahead and just align my lips with this one here i'm going to fill them in too just to make sure the lip color lasts longer that way when you're drinking coffee eating eggs whatever it's still going to stay in place and then over top i'm going to go with the rouge coco flash number 82 live or live I feel like on its own, this lipstick is a bit more nude, but then with this lip liner, the pink kind of comes out a bit more, so it's really pretty. And then last but not least for a weekend makeup look, let's go in with a hair perfume or a hair mist. It's a more subtle toned down version of your classic fragrance. So I'm going to use the Allure perfume right here, which I've always thought of as a very sensual fragrance, but the hair mist is just so extra, so bougie, so why not? This way, when you go to hug your friends or give them the French bees, they're going to smell your fragrance and they're gonna tell you how lovely you smell and it'll just be great for everyone involved. Okay, I think this about does it for the look. This is my go-to weekend makeup look. The idea is beautiful, healthy skin, pink cheeks, pink lips, and a beautiful, simple eye look. Nothing too complicated. I skipped the bronzer because 
This is for a simple look. I also skipped the highlighter. These are steps you can add if you want, but it's really just about looking healthy and put together, but you could totally do this in less than 10 minutes if you needed to. You can mix and match, you can add whatever you want. It's really up to you to turn this into your own weekend makeup look. So I think this about does it for today's video. If you happen to enjoy today's video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Those are all things that help my channel grow. And if you happen to like luxury makeup tutorials, luxury makeup reviews, please subscribe. And also hit the notification bell on the side because that way you can be notified whenever I post new videos. Okay, I think this is all I have for you guys for today. So thank you all so much for stopping by. I hope you all have a beautiful day and a beautiful weekend watching some true crime Netflix documentaries, perhaps. Let me know. Anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.